Clemson University, which, you know, will always be the best school in the nation to me. <laughs> um, I was a, my major was psychology and I minored in life sciences. The residents were some of the most amazing people I've ever met. I heard stories of these people's lives, things that you would never hear about. Um, lots of war vets that I got to talk to about their time. I would take them to the doctor's appointments and in the car they would just tell me all about their life and their kids and their kids' kids and some of their kids' kids' kids and it was awesome. I went to Mrs. Steiner who is a godsend and the best woman I know. <laughs> I have to look at Clemson. And I was like, Clemson, what is that? <laughs> and her daughter actually played volleyball at Clemson. So they're wow. huge. Uh, yeah, they're huge Clemson fans. Um, and she was like, please promise me you'll go look at it. And I was like, okay, I'll go look, you know, whatever. Um, and yeah, in college for me, it was just filled with a lot of fun, a lot of work. I definitely worked hard to get out um, in those three years, but I had so much fun at Clemson. The football atmosphere is amazing. Perimeter. You're on campus and you know you are, or you're off campus. And it's small, so you could walk from one end from the football stadium all the way to the other end in 15 minutes, maybe. And that was something I really enjoyed because well, everywhere, the street downtown is shut down. Everyone's in their orange and purple. Everyone is friendly. I mean, you could walk past a tailgate and someone will say, hey, how you doing? Come have a beer. Like, it's just amazing. It's always a good time. I actually went to New Orleans this year for the national championship. Wow, I, nice. I wasn't going to go. Um, the Sunday before the game, so the game was on Monday, I was feeling left out because a lot of people were there. Which is our absolute favorite. We go there for lunch. Me and two of my best friends would go there for lunch every single Tuesday <laughs> because it's just so good. And Clemson is in an awesome location because it's on a lake and it's right in the foothills of the mountains. So there's a ton to do. Um, going to Y Beach, this little like on-campus beach and just sitting by the lake and we can rent kayaks there and things like that. My friends and I would do that and I loved that. It's, it's a beautiful, beautiful campus with a lot to do. And the downtown area is always so lively with families and college students and a mixture of everything pretty much. And I always get, it's called the double decker and it's like big piece of Texas toast. They put brisket on it and then they pile it with pulled pork. Oh, it's unreal. <laughs> but I always had this little mantra in my head, you know, like I'm here for school that first, you know, that is why I came here. That's the reason I moved to Clemson is to be in school. So school comes first. Um, and thinking about it like that definitely changed my mindset on things. I had never been really on that side of the research thing. So actually doing the research, writing it up and submitting it for publication and having it sent back and all of that, that was really interesting to see that process behind the scenes. Whoever saw me was John Cummings. And so he was first my teacher for anatomy, which is one of the hardest courses at Clemson. And they are not lying when they say that, that class kicked my butt. Um, and then he was, uh, <laughs> it's bacon setting off the smoke alarm. <laughs> so I had about 120 students a semester and I loved it. It was, it's so fun because I love anatomy. We do really cool dissections. You know, we do a full cat dissection. We dissect brains and kidneys and hearts. And I love that hands-on aspect. Sitting to it. in my new apartment in Wrigleyville in Chicago. Um, I just moved in. I've only been here for a week and it's, awesome. <laughs> so I'm going to be going to Northwestern for PA school, which is physician assistant, if anyone didn't know what that is. Stuff you wouldn't think about. Um, they started a walking club and I was kind of manning that a little bit. So I would make sure they stayed six feet apart and all of that and let them walk outside finally so they could get out of their apartment. Um, and that was really rewarding because the lesson she did teach me, even though I was young, really resonate a lot more with me now. Uh, and that's something really special that I'll always have. And I was lucky enough that, you know, when my mom was sick, she wrote letters and um, 
have those given to us at different times in our life. So, you know, I got a letter when I graduated high school and I'll probably get one sometime in the future. And those are really special to me because it's like, even though she's not here, I'm still getting something from her. I went to an incredible high school. I mean, the staff cared so much and were so invested in us that that alone gave me so much confidence in myself and my abilities as a student going forward. I couldn't thank them enough for so that. hard. But I had uh, Mrs. Orsi and she, she kicked our butt. But I think that that class is how I knew how to study in college. Um, and then I have teachers like Mr. Wadlington or Wads. He was my AP psych teacher and he taught me how to think like a college student. And I had coaches, you know, for palms. I, I had um, Miss Tyler, Christy Tyler. Well, she's married now, so different last name. And I think she's at Central these days, but high school. And I have so many amazing memories and I could feel like I could go there and feel at home anytime and look at it is I have a lot of accomplishments that I'm really proud of and I did all of that while dealing with that anxiety and I think that that's pretty cool and for anyone out there who may be struggling with something similar like you can still you can do it and you can work through it and um just because everyone else sees something different in you you know people probably wouldn't look at me and think of me as an anxious or person type um because I am a big go-getter and I like to go out and do things um just because people don't see that in you doesn't mean it's not real and that you don't need to take the time to work through it and deal with it um because once you do that you're just you're just going to be that much more successful and that much happier and um I think that's something that people wouldn't necessarily Everybody, everybody just